Hello all. I'd like to talk to you a little story about what I say is never say never. You never know what you're going to invent. You never know what you're going to discover. You never know what you're going to do. Even if it seems like a ridiculous concept at the time. A few years ago, I got to be featured poet in uh, Austin, Texas. And I was very pleased with that. Got to do some specialized poetry readings around town. And also, as one of the benefits, is that I got to, everyone got to teach a class. You have a one hour course presentation on basically any topic of your choice. Uh, it's predetermined. You, you write it up and you uh, it's put in the catalog so everyone can come see. Well, I decided to talk about inspiration and muse. I was delighted that several people came to the presentation and I was just talking to them informal. As I got talking about things, I started talking more about not just poetry, but other things. I was making discoveries on light and photons about that time, electromagnetic energy. And I started talking to them also about some of those ideas and how I was getting inspiration for some of those. And what I think is really funny is while I was there, there was one guy in the room who was, well, there were a lot of them were very interested. Uh, one guy in the room was saying, are you going to give us a unified field theory? Because it sure sounds like you're going to give us a unified field theory. He was, he said it's like he was hanging on the edge of his seat, ready for me to deliver a unified field theory. <laughs> and I just joked at the time and said, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, I'm, I've come with some ideas, but I don't think I'm going to come up with a unified field theory. Well, now we come up a couple years later. I've got my new model of gravity, which, as I've said many times, is going to be the model of gravity that's going to re replace everything else. And from there, I have been able to combine all energies together, make all energies compatible so that they can all sync and, and have the same structure, have the same language. And yes, that will develop the unified field theory. And so now, yes, I do. I have a unified field theory, unified energy theory, where I have a basic structure for all energies. And then I modify that basic structure into each specific type of energy. I can even take what I believe is the universal energy and then formulate that into each one of the types of energies that we currently know of. So yeah, at the time when I was the featured poet and talking and this guy said, well, are you getting this the unified field theory? It sounds like you're, you're going to give it to us. I thought, that's, no, I don't think so. I really don't think so. But now I have one. So my point is, you never know what you're going to invent. You never know what you're going to discover. Something that seems like a crazy idea or a crazy suggestion at the time. You never know that, yeah, indeed, you might actually be able to do that crazy, crazy thing. You never thought you could. Thanks.